Picture this, it's the mid-1970s, and you find yourself in a dimly lit room, the scent of buttery popcorn filling the air. The anticipation is palpable as you settle into your seat, eyes fixed on the giant screen before you. The year is 1975, and the movie Marquis proudly bears the title Rollerball. Little did you know, this cinematic journey was about to take you on an adrenaline-fueled ride like no other. As the opening credits roll, the world of Rollerball unfolds before your ice a dystopian future, where corporations reign supreme, and a brutal sport known as Rollerball serves as both entertainment and control. The unforgettable moments that follow, the echoing roar of the crowd, the heart-pounding clashes on the roller rink, and the enigmatic Jonathan E. sealing his fate in the arena, have etched themselves into your memory. Now, close your eyes and take a moment to reflect on your first encounter with Rollerball. What scenes left you breathless? Which characters lingered in your thoughts long after the credits rolled? In the world of Rollerball, the line between sport and survival blurs, leaving you with a lingering sense of unease and fascination. But wait, there's more to this iconic movie than meets the eye. Let's delve into some intriguing random facts about the show that will deepen your appreciation for this cinematic gem. Rollerball, a 1975 dystopian sci-fi film directed by Norman Jewison, set in a future where corporations rule the world, presence of violent, and futuristic sport called Rollerball as a means of social control. The story revolves around Jonathan E., played by James Caan, the sport's greatest player, who questions the system's oppressive nature. The film's iconic characters include the enigmatic Mr. Bartholomew, who represents the ruling corporate elite and Jonathan's rebellious and defiant nature, which makes him a symbol of resistance. Rollerball is known for its unique blend of action, social commentary, and sports drama with thrilling roller skating sequences that captivate viewers. It's left an enduring impact on popular culture, raising questions about the role of corporations and individualism in society, while also showcasing the visceral thrill of extreme sports. In a world ever more dominated by powerful corporations, Rollerball remains a relevant and thought-provoking classic. In the 1975 movie Rollerball, one fascinating detail that often goes unnoticed is the meticulous redressing of the single Rollerball rink to depict various cities. The film's production team ingeniously transformed the solitary arena to represent different locations, effectively creating the illusion of multiple venues. This resourceful approach not only showcased their creativity but also added depth and authenticity to the film's depiction of a futuristic, globalized society. Set in the year 2018, Rollerball envisioned a dystopian future where corporations have supplanted governments, and the world is enthralled by a brutal and high-stakes sport known as Rollerball. The film's choice of this future date, now long past, invites viewers to reflect on the accuracy of its predictions and the societal issues it explored, making it a thought-provoking cinematic experience. One particularly intriguing aspect of the production was the commitment of the cast, extras, and stunt performers to the game of rollerball. The realism of the sport was such that they frequently engaged in actual gameplay between takes on the set. This not only fostered camaraderie among the performers, but also contributed to the film's authentic and intense depiction of the game. It speaks to the dedication of the individuals involved in bringing rollerball to life and their commitment to delivering a compelling cinematic experience. In summary, Rollerball stands out not only for its dystopian vision and thought-provoking narrative, but also for the creative use of a single rink, the foresight in selecting the year 2018, and the immersive nature of the onset Rollerball matches. These elements collectively contribute to the enduring legacy of the film as a classic in the science fiction genre. In 1975, the iconic film Rollerball graced the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on cinema history. While many remember its intense action sequences and dystopian themes, lesser-known facts about the movie offer intriguing insights into its production. One remarkable detail revolves around the film's extras. To maintain a timeless look for the movie, many of the extras were compensated for cutting their fashionably long hair. This decision ensured that the film's aesthetic wouldn't be tied to the era in which it was made, adding to its enduring appeal. Another interesting anecdote involves the challenge of creating an authentic backdrop for the film's fictional setting, Tokyo. Dieter Mayer, a member of the production team, recalled their concerns about finding enough extras to make the city appear credible. 
To address this, the crew dropped off flyers at local hotels, resulting in 150 eager Asians showing up for the required days of filming. This grassroots effort played a crucial role in bringing the fictional world of Rollerball to life. Furthermore, Rollerball has its roots in the written word. William Harrison, the mastermind behind the film, initially penned the original short story titled Rollerball Murder, which was published in Esquire magazine in 1973. He later adapted this gripping narrative into the screenplay that became the foundation for the cinematic masterpiece we know today. He's behind-the-scenes glimpses into the making of Rollerball shed light on the meticulous craftsmanship and creativity that went into creating this iconic film. As audiences continue to be captivated by its enduring appeal, these facts serve as a testament to the enduring legacy of this dystopian classic. In the dystopian world of the 1975 film Rollerball, a futuristic sport becomes a powerful allegory for the control of corporations over individual freedom. While the movie is known for its intense action sequences and thought-provoking themes, there are some intriguing facts that add depth to its legacy. One standout detail from the film is its use of the short-lived United Artists logo, featuring striking blue lights and sparkling gold 3D lettering. This unique logo, which would only be in use until late 1976, marked Rollerball as a pioneering production in the industry. It showcased the studio's commitment to innovative visuals, mirroring the film's futuristic aesthetics. Another fascinating tidbit involves the Tokyo-Houston game depicted in the movie. During this pivotal moment, Tokyo fans can be heard chanting, Ganbear, Tokyo. This Japanese phrase translates to do your best, Tokyo. The inclusion of this chant reflects the film's attention to cultural nuances and its commitment to creating an immersive world where the sport of rollerball is celebrated across the globe. Additionally, eagle-eyed viewers may notice a striking similarity between the final scene of rollerball and the ending of Rockle Welch's 1972 film, Kansas City Bomber. In both instances, the main characters skate triumphantly around the ring, with the crowd chanting their names. This parallel underscores the enduring appeal of roller derby as a cinematic spectacle and raises intriguing questions about the influence of one film on another. Rollerball remains a significant film in the annals of science fiction cinema, not only for its thrilling narrative but also for its visual innovations and cultural nuances. As viewers continue to engage with this classic, they discover new layers of meaning and connections to the world around them, making it a timeless piece of cinematic history. In the dystopian world of 1,975 seconds rollerball, where violence reigns supreme in a brutal sport, one casting choice stood out as a pivotal moment in the film's creation. Director Norman Jewison, known for his keen eye for talent, saw James Caan in a different light before entrusting him with the role of Jonathan E. in the film. It was Caan's portrayal of Brian Piccolo, the real-life Chicago Bears running back, and the TV film Brian's song that caught Jewison's attention. In Brian's song, Khan had demonstrated his ability to convey both vulnerability and strength, a range of emotions essential for the character of Jonathan Ian Rollerball. The decision to cast Khan in this gritty sci-fi thriller paid off, as he delivered a memorable performance that added depth to the film's narrative. Contrary to the whispers that swirled around the production, no lives were lost during the filming of the adrenaline-pumping stunts that defined Rollerball. However, the intensity of the action did result in several serious injuries, some of which necessitated hospitalization. The dedication of the cast and crew to bring the brutal sport of rollerball to life on the screen pushed the boundaries of safety, but ultimately ensured the film's authenticity. In the liner notes accompanying the Region 2 DVD release of the movie, director Norman Jewison openly acknowledged the influence of Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange on his work. This influence becomes evident when examining the film's visual and stylistic elements. Jewison's use of repetitive zooms, classical music, and the juxtaposition of modern architecture characterized by concrete and glass structures echoes Kubrick's signature cinematic style. Rollerball remains a striking and thought-provoking film of its era, known not only for its visceral action but also for the careful choices that shaped its creation. From the inspired casting of James Caan to the daring stunts that left their mark on the cast and crew, the movie endures as a testament to the bold creativity of 1970s cinema. 
in the 1975 movie Rollerball, a dystopian sports thriller directed by Norman Jewison. One intriguing detail that often escapes notice is the significance of shirt numbers 1 minus 3. In this high-octane game of rollerball, these shirt numbers were exclusively reserved for the motorcycle riders, adding an element of mystique to their role in the brutal sport. But the film's fascination with numbers doesn't end there. In a captivating sequence preceding the New York game, viewers are treated to a visual tour of iconic locations worldwide. The Palacio da Alvarada in Brasilia, Brazil, the Basilica of St. Peter in the Vatican, and the towering skyscrapers of Lower Manhattan, New York, all make appearances. This eclectic selection of landmarks serves to underscore the global scale and cultural significance of Rollerball in the movie's dystopian narrative. Furthermore, when examining the film's exterior shots, it's worth noting that the Energy Corporation building is not what it seems. These shots were actually filmed at the corporate headquarters of the renowned car manufacturer BMW in Munich, West Germany. The striking bowl-shaped library building featured in the movie is none other than the old BMW Museum, located just a few steps to the left of the headquarters entrance. This creative use of real-world locations adds depth to the film's futuristic setting and showcases the resourcefulness of the filmmakers. Rollerball, with its gripping narrative and attention to detail, continues to be a cult classic in the world of dystopian cinema. Whether it's the symbolic shirt numbers, the global tour of landmarks, or the clever use of real locations, this 1975 film offers viewers an immersive experience that still captivates audiences to this day. As we roll to the end of this cinematic journey through the 1975 classic, Rollerball, I invite you to pause and reflect on the echoes of this dystopian masterpiece that resonate with your own life. This film, set in a not-so-distant future, mirrors the collision of individuality and conformity, the pursuit of freedom within the constraints of society, and the indomitable spirit of one man amidst the chaos of a ruthless sport. Have you ever found yourself grappling with the fine line between personal autonomy and societal expectations? Or perhaps you've marveled at the resilience of those who dare to challenge the status quo. Rollerball's exploration of these themes continues to captivate audiences across generations. Now, it's your turn to share. What memories does Rollerball evoke for you? Were there moments that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Did it prompt you to question the world around you, or maybe even the role of technology in our lives? We'd love to hear your thoughts, your memories, and your reflections on this timeless classic. Thank you for joining us on this introspective voyage through Rollerball and for sharing your unique perspective. Your voice adds depth and richness to the ongoing conversation surrounding this film. Keep the dialogue alive and let's continue to explore the timeless questions it raises together. Stay tuned for more cinematic adventures and until next time, keep rolling through the world of film and storytelling warmly.